so actually, yes, it was uh, quite an interesting uh, time for us uh, last month. Uh, we faced uh, quite high demand uh, both in our offline and online operations uh, in uh, two seconds uh, uh, last weeks of March um, um, amid the COVID-19 situation. And we were able uh, to provide uninterrupted supply uh, to our stores. Uh, so uh, I think uh, um, in April situation uh, stabilized already and uh, we are just uh, living uh, in the new normal um, situation. For us, I would say the biggest um, uh, story now uh, is the development of our online platforms because uh, we have uh, two uh, customer value propositions in that respect. Uh, our online supermarket and also our express delivery uh, from uh, local proximity and supermarket store uh, to the local residents. And we see huge demand for that. For example, in our express delivery, um, number of orders only in February, because we just started this um, uh, type of uh, proposition, was at 600 per day. And now it's already uh, above 10,000 uh, per day. So um, um, the advantage um, is that we have uh, almost 16,000 uh, stores uh, in Russia and uh, we can, uh, in very flexible way, uh, roll out this model quite quickly uh, uh, with, our with our stores because uh, the picking of food is done by employees uh, within the store and then uh, is delivered uh, by a courier uh, to the local residents. So um, that also uh, influenced uh, the increased uh, sales uh, uh, that we faced in the first quarter uh, of this year. Right. We had quite strong results, as you mentioned, uh, with 16% growth in revenue right. and also uh, EBITDA margin at 7%, which is also a very um, strong result for the first quarter. Um, Still, uh, we are affected, of course, uh, by the situation and we do have additional expenses on logistics, on uh, ensuring the safety of our employees. So, uh, of course, uh, still it's not, uh, it's not a very you know, simple situation for us. Svetlana, I love the Russian understatement. You said interesting times. They certainly have. The, the challenge we've seen for a lot of uh, retailers like you in the West has been just keeping supply chains and logistical chains working effectively as you've seen workers go off sick and there have been other personnel issues and you've had to move to other channels to the consumer like home delivery. Obviously, some of that has had an impact on your gross margin in this reported period. What do you think the trend is going to be as you go forward, given that it seems Russia is still relatively early in the uh, curve on managing coronavirus? Um, uh, see, I think uh, we do benefit from the fact that uh, almost 100% uh, of uh, our you know, core goods are supplied internally in Russia. Uh, the share of imported goods is not uh, that significant, uh, and all you know core uh, product categories are domestic. Uh, that's why we don't have um, um, significant uh, FX exposure, and actually even devaluation of ruble or um, decrease of oil prices uh, so far um, has not had a significant impact uh, on our operations and on operations uh, of our core suppliers uh, in Russia. So um, I, I think that uh, actually helped uh, in March uh, to provide uninterrupted supplies uh, to our customers.